start with piano. I had such a good time watching Kill Bill Volume 1. Oh my god, I love it already. Finally sadistic. Are we back at the start with the bride? Oh no, 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 no. This moment. No, please don't show shooting her in the head again. This is me. It's, it's so hard. It's your baby. It's oh, your yeah. baby. I mean, that is that is a heck of an opening. I forgot about it's his baby. Actually, Bill's last bullet put me in a coma. A coma cool. I was to lie in for four years. This is amazing, breaking the fourth wall. I've killed a lot of people to get to this point, but I have only one more. The yeah. last one. Look at her. I am gonna kill Bill. Woo! This music! Well, that was pretty cool. I, it, very, like, like 50s noir opening. Woo! So we know that she kills all the other people on the list up until Bill. Massacre at Two Pines, chapter six. Okay. Now the incident that happened at the Two Pines wedding chapel. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Has since become legend. Yeah, I need to know what is her deal. She was getting married, pregnant with Bill's baby? The massacre didn't happen during a wedding at all. It was a wedding rehearsal. Oh, I see. Where I say you may kiss the bride, you may kiss the bride. That's her but don't stick Beyonce? your tongue in her mouth. <laughs> And they all get killed except for Uma. We'll try to restrain ourselves. <laughs> Y'all got a song? <gasps> Is he always in every Tarantino movie? How about Love Me Tender? Oh I'd play that. Sure. He's the coolest. Rufus, he's the man. He is the man. I freaking love him. I want to watch more Samuel L. Jackson movies. Let me know some more. Honey, you know, it would be good if you had somebody come. You know, as a sign of good faith. She doesn't have anyone. Like, she doesn't have any family or anything, right? I'm not feeling very well. And this... It's starting to piss me off. Right? That's so rude. Get some friends and family, honey. She just needs a few minutes to get it together. She'll be okay. She's just gonna see all the assassins in the distance. So I'm thinking like she tried to quit and get out and she hasn't really told her fiance they're the real truth, I'm sure. Oh, that switched to a minor note. Oof. Is that him? I'm gonna assume that every man is Bill until I learn otherwise. Something's gonna happen. This music! Hello, kiddo. Yeah, that's his voice. She doesn't look afraid. I thought she'd be afraid of him. How did you find me? I'm the man. What are you doing here? What am I doing? Just sitting outside playing the flute. A moment ago, I was playing my flute. Now I'm gonna kill you. This black and white. Are you gonna be nice? I've never been nice my whole life, but I'll do my best to be sweet. It's cool how they talk so calmly to each other before they get crazy. See, so you got a bun in the oven. And it's his, right? That's what she said. It's your baby. Jeez Louise, that young man of yours sure doesn't believe in wasting time, does he? These feet shots slowly, calmly moving. What does your young man do for a living? He owns a used record store here in El Paso. This is so tense because you know how it ends. And what are you doing for a J-O-B these days? I work in the record store. Ah, oh, so... They're being so friendly. I get to listen to music all day. It's gonna be a great environment for my little girl to grow up in. Oh yeah, her daughter is alive. That's right, we were at the end of the last one. Yeah. I am looking forward to meeting your young man. I happen to be more or less particular who my gal marries. How do they know each other? Like she worked for him, but did they have a romance? Oh, here's Tommy. Call me Arlene. She's got a fake name, Arlene. Tommy, I'd like you to meet my father. <laughs> oh my god. Well, he's definitely not her dad. Did you come straight from Australia? Oh, of course. Daddy, I told Tommy that you were in Perth mining for silver and no one could reach you. <laughs> Lucky for us all, that's not the case. It's got her by the neck. This is getting tense. What's this all about? I don't believe I've ever heard of a wedding dress rehearsal before. I agree, she's in her wedding dress. That's odd. But it's bad luck. Isn't it supposed to be bad luck for the groom to see the bride in her wedding dress? I guess I just believe in living dangerously. Oh god, he doesn't even know what he's saying. Bill, I just don't want If he's the man you want, then go stand by. Da, 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 da. She doesn't think she's in any danger. Girl, that's supposed to be your dad. Cool it. Thank you. She thinks he is given his blessing, letting her go. And then, and then, and then... Oh my god, I have chills everywhere. Ooh. I just thought they'd come in blasting. I didn't know they had a whole friggin' scene here. Enter bad guys. Although they do look cool. Uh, they look so cool. No! No! Took 10 seconds. Frig. All right, we're back in color. She needs to get her revenge on him. That was dirty the way he played it. She thought she was safe. Are you telling me she cut her way through 88 bodyguards before she got to Oren? Yep. Stylishly. They all fell under her Hanzo sword. She got a Hanzo sword? Oh yeah, custom. I think they're nervous she's coming. But you haven't by any chance kept up with your sword play. 
What is he drinking with a big skull on it? I pawned that years ago. You hawked a Hattori Hanzo sword. <laughs> Are they like priceless? It, it, it was priceless. Yeah. <laughs> in El Paso, I got me $250 for it. $250! I'm a bouncer in a t bar, Bill. If she wants to fight with me, all she's got to do is come down to the club and we'll be in a fight. Oh, I hope we don't do the fight at the strip club. That'll be tough for YouTube. You've got to get over being mad at me mad? and start becoming afraid of because she is coming. What is her name? I wonder if we ever find out. And she's definitely gonna beat this guy. He's just sitting in a trailer. She went through all the crazy idiots and they're actual fighters. That woman deserves her revenge. Oh, yeah, yeah. And we deserve to die. <laughs> then again, so does she. What did they all do in the past? What happened? What'd she do? Chapter seven, the lonely grave of Paula Schultz. I love these chapters, it's so stylish. Like the pulp novels. <laughs> Looking for me. I don't know what car wash you worked before you came here that let you stroll in 20 minutes late, but it wasn't owned by me and I own a car wash. About to get fired here. Before you leave, talk to Rocket. She's got a job for you to do. What kind of job? Shady business, no doubt. Is he gonna do something? I keep waiting for him to be a fighter. Thought he was about to kick his butt, but I guess not. It's out of the game. Yeah, but honey, uh, the toilet is at it again. Okay, I'll clean it up. Oh, that's the job, I see. He doesn't seem like he's got much fight in him. I wonder what's gonna happen when Black Mamba arrives. He might just be like, yeah, shoot me, whatever. Ooh, this organ, is she there? Maybe she's just gonna shoot him from afar. No, I don't think that's her style. I don't know. Maybe she just kills him in there. Ah, this movie's tense. At any moment, something disgusting could happen. Is she under there? <gasps> Ooh, your record. That's Johnny Cash. One rich man in Is he ready for her though? With a sad everything that I dream for. Maybe he's just waiting for her. But I'm richer. Oh. Is she just gonna stab him through there? She's ready, let's do it. She shot her in the chest. He was waiting. <laughs> Just laughs. Oh, but you know she gets away later. She said she has only build left to kill. No. Ooh, that western you dropped. That gentled you down some, didn't it? He shot her. This girl just gets shot yeah. so much. I can't even imagine how bad that must stink. Like there would be all the like shrapnel in her, right? How does she get out of this? <laughs> Giving her a shot. Uh She's out. <gasps> I underestimated him. I thought he was going to be super easy for her. Now what is he going to do? Call him Bill? But she gets away and she's driving later. Well, I mean, I don't know. That's what maybe she just like dreamed that. I don't know. <sighs> you never know, Tarantino. If you guys are enjoying this video, I would love if you could give it a quick like right down there. <gasps> Bill. It's an L driver. Wrong brother. But... Bingo. And to what do I owe this dubious pleasure? She's cool with the eye patch. I shot her full of rock salt. She's so gentle right now. I could perform her coup de gras with a rock. Anywho. Anywho. <laughs> you get your bony ass down here first thing in the morning with a million dollars in folding cash. Now we're talking. And I'll give you the greatest sword ever made by a man. Million bucks. Does she have it? Sounds like we got a deal. One condition. She must suffer to her last breath. They all hate her so much. What did she do to them? Oh, that bell. I have chills all over. What's he gonna do? Man, she's been through so much. This is really... The picture's really shrunk down. I hear shovels. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. I say that! Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Oh, no. All the shawls. I died! Oh, I didn't even see the coffin open with a skeleton. I didn't even see that. She should be trying to squirm away. You got anything to say? White women call this the silent treatment. And we let them think we don't like it. <laughs> you got the feet. I'll get the head. The feet, the head. She didn't say anything to him. Hey! You see it, don't you? That's a kind of mace. You don't want that in the eye. How does she get out of this? I want to bury you. With this. And buried alive. She's gonna bury her alive. How does she get to kick him? Kick him. Now what's it gonna be, sister? Flashlight. I don't know. Mace, and then you use it on him. Oh, God. That's a wise decision. This is for breaking my brother's heart. Breaking his brother's heart. Is Bill his brother? Whoa, cool shots. I thought 
she was gonna come on bust out of there. I thought she was gonna kick him or something. Oh, the sound. Oh no. Sounds, footsteps. Is that the dirt? Oh my god, my heart is racing. Turn on the flashlight. No, that's the dirt. That's the dirt. This is crazy, it's just in the dark and the sounds. Oh, I'm black and white again. Oh my god. This is, this is, this is, this is terrifying. Isn't there a movie with Ryan Reynolds where he spends the whole time in a coffin or something? How, but how, how does she get out of this? They're driving away. I wonder how much oxygen would be in there. Like, how long could you stay in there before you suffocate? Suffocate first or or dive thirst and starvation? Oh god. Chapter 8, The Cruel Tutelage of Pai Mei. The Cruel Tutelage. Once upon a time in China, head priest of the White Lotus Clan, Pai Mei, was walking down a road when a uh -huh. Shaolin monk appeared on the road. They were close. Friends or lovers? Pai Mei, in a practically unfathomable display of generosity, gave the monk the the slightest of nods. The nod was not returned. That was an unsettling note. The motives of the monk remain unknown. What is known were the consequences. Well, she's enamored. I need to have more campfire stories to tell. The next morning, Pai Mei appeared at the Shaolin Temple and demanded of the temple's head abbot that he offer Pai Mei his neck to repay the insult. I love how he's just drawing this story out with the flute interludes. Phil is a character. So began the massacre of the Shaolin Temple and all 60 of the monks inside, the fists of the White Lotus. Oh my. So began the legend of Pai Mei's five-point palm exploding heart technique. Exploding heart technique. He hits you at five different pressure points on your body and then lets you walk away. But once you've taken five steps, your heart explodes inside your body. <gasps> Huh. Did he teach you that? No. He teaches no one a five-point palm exploding heart technique. That's crazy. Whatever Pai Mei says, obey. She's gonna go see him? And if you throw any American sass his way, he'll snap your back and your neck like they were twigs. The cruel tutelage. Hmm. Sounds like a scary dude. He'll accept you as his student. What happened to you? Not the friendly contest. This is so grainy. Just seeing those steps again makes me ache. <laughs> You're gonna have a lot of fun carrying buckets of water up and down that bunker. So he studied here under Pai Mei, it would seem. No sarcasm, no back talk. At least not for the first year or so. She's very charming though. Seems like he got into a fight with them and like had to force her in here. All right, well, we're gonna see her origins. I'm happy about this. This is where she gets her kick ass fighting style from. I'm very curious what this dude's gonna be like. Oh my. That's intimidating. His reputation precedes him. <laughs> Yes, he is. How did she wind up with Bill? I am proficient in Tiger Crane style, and I am more than proficient in the exquisite art of the samurai sword. <laughs> Doesn't believe her. My pathetic I was gonna say, why do you let her come if he hates her so much? But I suppose this is all part of the training. Where'd she get her original sword skills from? From Bill? Is that thing in his hair a weapon? I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god. Stood on her sword! I've never seen that. Wow. Okay. I need to whip my ponytail around like that. Ooh, this is like 70s funk. Jeez. With his hands behind his back. This guy's kind of the worst. Has to break her first. All right. Well, can, but not that shui. You could take him. Lady is Sunday, dear Sam. Pull your holy, my. You go, young king. Put your fist through him. You can tell me, go, I'm out. Need you, sorry, damn, you don't tell. You acquiesce to defeat before you even begin. 
Jeez. Just bonks her on the head. Now she's getting it. Wouldn't her hand just turn into mush? He seems pleased, so I'm pleased. Yeah, her hand's probably all left up. Not gonna let her eat like that? Oh, I thought she's gonna push it onto the floor. Okay. I mean, if you just pummel your hand every single day against a piece of wood, I mean, you're gonna F your hand up. I don't think your hand gets stronger. Come on, perseverance! Aha! Very good. He is pleased. Meanwhile, back in the grave. I wonder how deep they buried her. Six feet, right? Like, she never gives up. She's very strong-willed. I suppose that's part of her training there with Pai Mei as well. Ooh, so westerny. Does she have something hidden in there? Yeah. Always carry a backup knife in your boot. Also kind of reminded me of Mac Miller. Great video. She used that knife. Somehow to scrape out. She looks determined. She literally trained for this. Does she ever do it in training? Ah. Isn't the dirt just gonna collapse on her? All right. That's worse, right, though? That means it's the dirt. Uh, um. Whoa, this shot. If her hand comes up out of the grave. Yeah. I just feel like that's a classic horror movie. <laughs> Zombie. Huh, okay. Well, uh, bud better look out. This girl just can't be killed. She still did get shot in the chest, though. <laughs> Oh, uh, she looks bad. May I have a glass of water, please? <laughs> yeah. Whew. Well, she killed it. Chapter 9, Ellen die. So what, she doesn't go kill Bud? Woo! Ah, I love how this is mixed. Organ over here. Bass over here. Oh, this is cool. He deserves it now. I don't know what happened in the past, but... And the flute! Oh, this music's trippy. Whoa! Cut to silence. Well, she doesn't look good. Ah, here we go. Look out, efforts. Oh. Oh. All right. So that's what takes his funeral. Frig. Can I look at the sword? That's my money right there in that red bag, isn't it? It sure is. Well then, it's your sword now. What's he make, a margarita? Now bad guys should never trust each other. She might just kill Bud. Bill tells me you once had one of these of your own. You know what? I don't know what's gonna happen here. I know both of them are gonna end up dead though. Which are you filled with? Revenge. They say. Remorse. The number one killer of old people. Regret. Is retirement. Oh, retirement. So now that you're not gonna have to face your enemy no more on the battlefield, which are you filled with? Relief or regret? Can hear a fly in, in the movie. Regret. Why, she wanted to kill her? You know, you gotta hand it to the old girl. I never saw anybody buffalo Bill the way she buffaloed Bill. What'd she do to Bill? Bill thought she was so damn smart, and I tried to tell him. Broke his she heart? She was just smart for a blonde. I think Elle might just kill Bud and take the money. <laughs> Sticks it sticks. Thanks a bunch. Uh, I'm nervous. Something's gonna happen here. <gasps> Ah, uh, snake! Deadly Viper assassination squad. I knew it! Bad guys don't make deals. Is it just like instant? Oh god, it really got him. It really got him. Bud, I'd like to introduce my friend, the Black Mamba. Black Mamba. Now she's about to get killed by her own Black Mamba. Its neurotoxic venom is one of nature's most effective poisons. Now you should listen to this, because this concerns you. So calm. A calm villain. If not treated quickly with anti-venom, 10 to 15 milligrams can be fatal to human beings. Black Mamba's about to burst through the door. Right at this moment, the biggest R I feel is regret. That maybe the greatest warrior I have ever met met her end at the hands of a bushwhacking scrub like you. She wanted to be the one to kill her. Bill, I have 
have some tragic news. Your brother's dead. It is his brother. She put a black mamba in his camper. I thought this was maybe Bill's plan. Okay. She's lying. Let me put it this way. Go to Barstow, California. Look for the headstone marked Paula Schultz. Because you will be standing at the final resting place of Beatrix Kiddo. Beatrix Kiddo. Good name. Oh, that was a cool shot with the feet. Here we go, here we go. Oh, oh, this is gonna be a gross fight, probably. I mean, there's still a snake in there, too. She needs to get her sword back. Oh, that double kick. The, the, the split screen, I love it! So stylish. Oh, frig. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. She's not even wearing shoes. That's right, she took her boots off. Ugh. Gross. Yeah, gross. She needs her sword back. This other girl's a good fighter too and she hasn't spent all night in a grave and shot in the chest. Come on, get her. We know she wins. We know she wins. Just drags her in a toilet. Oh God. Craig. Get the sword! Come on, come on, come on. He still had a sword. To my brother Bud, the only man I ever loved. Bill. Bill. Killed by Bill's sword, too. Oof. Sword fight! Alright, alright, alright. What's that? Oh, this piano. Hands, oh, sword. Dun, 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 dun. Something I've always been curious about. Just between us girls. What a did you say to Pi May to make him snatch out your eye? She sassed him. I called him a miserable old fool. He snatched out her eye. Bad idea. Know what I did? I killed that miserable old fool. She killed How him? like the fish head. I poisoned his fish heads. She's not honorable. She's evil. Just laugh. She's That's evil. Right. I killed your master. You don't have a future. Oh, God. What kind of gross death is she gonna have? Oh, let's do it! Ah! Did she snatch out her other eye? Oh, oh my god! She's just going nuts in there. Just the leaves there. Well, she's in there with the snake. Presumed dead, maybe. Blind, anyway. Last chapter, face to face. Let's do it. I did not see that eye thing coming. Like most men who never knew their father, Bill collected father figures. The first was Esteban Vajeo. Esteban was a pimp and a friend of Bill's mother. All right, let's find Bill. Senor Esteban Vajeo. Yes. Americana. Yes. I speak a little Spanish if you prefer. No, 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 no. She speaks many languages. How may I be of service to you? Where's Bill? Uh, you must be Beatrix. Mm-hmm. If we have met when I was back in business, you would have been my number one lady. Is that a compliment? <laughs> Bill shot you in the head, no? Yes. Sure did. She's been shot a lot. I would have been much nicer. I would have just cut your face. You must forgive me, please. You have a drink with me. What's he drinking? Cognac? Bill is at the Via Cuadro on the road to Selena. Gave I it up. Draw you a lab. Do you know why I help you? Because he will want me to. I mean, she'd find him no matter what. Here we go. Ooh, these bongos. I'd like to believe she's just gonna get her revenge. A gun. This score. She's gonna fight in a skirt. He's probably just waiting for her. I feel like he knows what's coming. What? Oh no. Freeze, mommy. Bang, bang. It's her kid, right? I totally forgot his kid. Little did Quick Draw Kiddo know that little BB was only playing possum. I'm impervious to bullets, mommy. Hey, get back down there. Oh my god. Oh, that's a wild card. Bang, bang. You're dead, mommy, so die. BB. What? <sighs> I don't know what's gonna happen now. Oh, mommy, don't die. I was just playing. I know. So Bill shot her in the head and then took the kid. I told her you were asleep, but that one day you'd wake up and come back to her. 
She is filled with rage right now. Well, and other emotions as well. Baby. Just make it a sandwich. Don't you think mommy has the prettiest hair in the whole wide world? Yes, I do. I mean, he's just been with this kid. The kid loves the dad. I'm so confused. You know, sweetie, mommy's kind of mad at daddy. Why, daddy? Were you being a bad daddy? Yeah, I'll say. Want to tell mommy about what happened to Emilio? Emilio was Michael. <laughs> he came running into my room crying, daddy, daddy, Emilio's dead. I'm feeling very tense because I don't know what's going to happen here. Didn't lie. She said she took Emilio out of his bowl and put him on the carpet. And what was Emilio doing on the carpet? Flapping. And then you stomped on him. This kid's very cute. She told me later she knew what she had done. Is that not the perfect visual image of life and death? He's waving this knife around. You loved Emilio, didn't you? Uh-huh. Well, I love mommy too, but I did to mommy what you did to Emilio. You stomped on mommy? Worse. <laughs> Shot her in the face. I was very sad. Well, I mean... And that's when I learned. I don't think they can make some up. Some things, once you do, they can never be undone. This is very menacing. Mommy, do you want to watch a video with me before sleepy time? Oh, yeah. I would love to. Which one do you want to watch? So good assassin. I don't trust Bill for one second. When I was little, my father was famous. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. She just wants to watch Shogun Assassin. Okay. I just thought we were going to have a showdown, like fight. I don't know how the heck this ends. She has to kill him. And they have to be very careful not to hurt this kid. I think she's, she's just going to go kill him right now. I'm starting to worry that she's going to die. Like, I, mean, I don't know. I was just admiring your sword. Yeah, she should have kept her sword with her. It's oh, work. No, I couldn't believe it. You got him to make your sword. It was easy. I just dropped your name, Bill. They're going to fight, right? Are they? This is so tense. This piano. There's another sword here in the foreground. I suppose the idea is we cross Hanzo swords. Am I right? It just so happens this hacienda has its own private beach. Fight on the beach. If you want a sword fight, that's where I suggest. But... <gasps> His sword has like devils on it. <gasps> now, if you don't settle down, I'm gonna have to put one in your kneecap. Oh, crap. Well, can't be more painful than the head. I have a solution. <gasps> Gotcha. Come on. He is the worst. My greatest invention, or at least my favorite. Don't touch it or I'll stick another one right in your cheek. What is it? Poison? It's an incredibly potent and quite infallible truth serum. I call Whoa. It the undisputed truth. A truth serum? That's cool. As you know, I'm quite keen on comic books. My favorite superhero. Superman. Soup. Soup would not like Bill. A staple of the superhero mythology Villains is love there's speeches. the superhero and there's the alter ego. Batman is actually Bruce Wayne. Spider-Man is actually Peter Parker. Clark Kent. What are you getting at, man? Superman didn't become Superman. Is Superman. He pretends to be Clark Kent. Clark Kent is how Superman views us. Interesting. And what are the characteristics of Clark Kent? He's weak. He's unsure of himself. Friendly. He's a coward. Nah. The point emerges. You would have worn the costume of Arlene Plimpton, but you were born Beatrix Kiddo. And every morning when you woke up, you'd still be Beatrix Kiddo. Is he trying to say he set her free from this? Moving to El Paso, working in a used record store. That's you, trying to disguise yourself as a worker bee. Don't you dare say, I set you free. Don't you dare. First question. Now we get to it. Did you really think your life in El Paso was going to work? No. But I would have had baby. But you are a killer. All those people you killed to get to me felt damn good, didn't they? What does he want from her? He's just torturing her before he kills her. Why did you run away from me with my baby? Do you remember the last assignment you sent me? Lisa Wong. The morning I left, I was sick. Is she just pregnant? Easy to use. Remove cap and urinate on the absorbent end for five seconds. Accurate results in only 90 seconds. Longest 90 seconds ever. She got pregnant, so yeah, why did she leave? What I didn't know was that somewhere on my journey I had been spotted with me in LA. It didn't take Lisa Wong long to send an assassin of her own. Oh, shoot. Hello, I'm Karen Kim. I'm the hospitality manager of the hotel. I have a welcome gift from the management. Well, that's nice. Um, can you just leave it by the door? Oh, good thing she had that thing and dropped it. You pretty good with that shotgun? So let's talk. Can she talk her way out of it? I just found out right now that I'm pregnant. What is this? <laughs> Highly irregular. Right now, I'm just scared for my baby. 
it going to work? Will she have sympathy for her? I don't know what this it means. The box with the directions is right there. And she could shoot her while she's reading. Uh, okay, say I were to believe you, what then? Just go home. I'll do the same. So is it just because she got pregnant and then she was like, I can't be doing this anymore and just like left? Congratulations. Once that strip turned blue, I could no longer do any of those things. Can you understand that? I mean, it makes sense, yeah. I feel like she could have just had a conversation with them, though. She deserved to be born with a clean slate. But with you, she would have been born into a world she shouldn't have. I don't know if they're going to even fight. And for the record, letting somebody think somebody they love is dead when they're not is quite cruel. It is, kind of. I'm not on Bill's side, but it, 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 she might have made it, her situation way worse. I mourned you for three months. And in the third month of mourning you, I track you down. And what do I find? Not only are you not dead, you're getting married. I overreacted. Overreacted. <sighs> I don't think either of them are very good decision makers. Was my reaction really that surprising? Yes, it was. Yeah, I mean, if he really loved her, he wouldn't have done that. But I never thought you would or could do that to me. Mm -hmm. I'm really sorry, kiddo. I'm really sorry. You and I have unfinished business. Baby, you ain't kidding. Whoa! Did she do the thing? Plan A taught you the five-point palm exploding heart technique. Oh, shoot! I forgot about that, too. Of course he did. Why didn't you tell me? I don't know. Because I'm his heart gonna explode when he takes five steps? You're a terrific person. I do kinda wanna see that. You're my favorite person. Let's go, dude. Take five steps. How do I look? You look ready. Wow. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, there's music. <laughs> gonna die like a gentleman. One, two, three. It worked! Whoa! Five point exploding heart technique! I should have seen that coming. I totally forgot about it. Taking the kid away. I was wondering if she was just gonna stay and limp there. The next morning. Good evening, Mr. and Mrs. America, and all the ships at sea. How do you end this? The magpie deserves your respect. She's crying. <laughs> Well, she's been through a lot, and I think she, for some reason she loves Bill. <laughs> oh, is she crying out of happiness? Can't even tell. <laughs> she's just laugh crying. Oh my god, she's going through it. She's gonna need some time to process. Thank you. <laughs> the lioness has rejoined her cub, and all is right in the jungle. Okay, guys, well, that was Kill Bill Volume 2, and that was really good, and it's making me think now about Volume 1 in a different way, so I can really see why everyone was saying this isn't a sequel, it's more of just the second part of one whole story. These two movies are meant to be seen together, back to back, as one story. The first one was amazing, and I think there was probably more fighting and more action stuff, but this one added to the character development in a way that we just didn't get into in the first one. I really expected a huge showdown, a huge fight, and we didn't get that. We got a very long scene of them talking and then she does the five finger thing which is so cool but it's like such a quiet death so the opposite of all the other deaths that came before which were so over the top so gruesome so gory so actiony such an unexpected ending tarantino is so good i think at just like subverting all expectations i just expected this movie to crescendo in the ultimate disgusting gory huge battle something outrageous would happen that would be totally unexpected and it was unexpected but like in a quiet way he got me he got me the music was so good in this one i also feel like this movie paid homage a lot to comic book kung fu action movies movie. I would be interested to know some other things that he referenced in this movie. There's probably a lot that I wouldn't be aware of. Feel free to let me know some of those. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I had a great time. I hope you had a great time too. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.